everyone. Uh, my name is Robert Lee. Uh, when I was in the United States, when I told everyone, uh, my name is Robert Lee, I have to say, my name is Robert C. Lee, not Robert E. Lee. Okay? It's because Robert E. Lee is the general in the United States. Okay? So now I want to share two stories to you, and you can understand me. One story is when I was an exchange student in the United States, Wisconsin. Uh, because the first time I go there, I, the first feeling of me is that's what's so cold up there. Okay, and then I am totally distant, cannot fit the food in the United States. So, because and when, when I was when, when I was there, my English is not good, and I do a lot of, a lot of trouble. But my roommate is he is a he is a soldier of United States Army, U.S. Army. So he is a very kind and uh, very kind, kind man. So he, we have a lot of good, funny things. One time I brought a, brought a fish can from supermarket and I, I, I think that, that fish can tastes really bad. So I said to my roommate, Mark, I said, Mark, why the United food? The American food is always tastes bad, and uh, he told me, Robert, you brought the cat food. Of course, it tastes not good. But from 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 that time, I I I I I am tired to eat pizza or burger every day, so I I try to cook by myself. So. Uh, I, I think I from a poor cooker become a good chef. So sometimes I make some really traditional Chinese food in there and what I want to share with my roommate. One time I made a tea, tea eggs. So I, I said, Mark, you want to try some tea eggs? He, he told me, no, Robert, I don't want to eat brown eggs. <laughs> I think, okay, that makes sense. Brown eggs sounds not, not very good. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes Americans, they, they don't understand our, our culture or our food or something about about us. So the the second story is when I was taking the military service in army. Uh, I think that's a very tough experience in my life because my army is my 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 army is very special. We need to take in because we are the first line when we we are in, in the war. So we have to take work. Very quickly, so we can when when we have when we have some enemy, we can go there very fast, and we are the first first line. So the crazy crazy things we do is we have to keep working from Taoyuan to Pindong. <laughs> it takes one week, and then you have to put everything on your body. You need to put gun, put bullet, and everything you need in the bottle, and uh, take one week to 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 work from Taoyuan to Pindong. So uh, I'm so proud of myself. I can I can finish that work. And uh, during that trip, I I understand a lot of things because you when you wake wake up in the morning, you start working, and uh, it's non-stop. Oh, even you are so tired. Even you have some problem with your feet. You have you still have to need keep working. So I learned stamina in my life. Uh, okay, and uh, when I finish finish that, I feel so proud of myself. I can finish that kind of mission impossible for me. Okay, so uh, another thing in the uh, military service I'm very proud of is we are the. I'm not just a soldier. I'm like you know taking some responsibility in that that army. So in the final annual review, we we are the number one security section of our army and uh, we are we have a lot of vacation because that I like honor. Okay. <laughs> so finally from these two stories I think you can understand me for for the first first meet. And I think if you want me to identify myself, I think I will identify myself because as a struggler of destiny, because I always try to fight, I always never give up, and uh, from you know, and I always think I can pass 
I can, sorry. I'm convinced that my determination, stamina, and uh, passion will lead me through the every possible abstract and uh, pressure <coughs> come from the destiny. So my motto, I can share my motto is never give up, never give in, and never say never. Thank you.